I talked with Goose Creek Police Chief LJ Roscoe to get her thoughts about Senator Scott's proposal. After I read through it, the majority of the things that they are recommending be implemented, um, Goose Creek Police Department already has those measures in place. Chief Roscoe says these are things law enforcement should be doing. In the report, of course, talks about chokeholds. Um, our policy has already prohibited uh, the use of chokeholds, so there's no changes that we would need to make there. They talk about the use of body cameras and when things should be reported with body cameras and they reference uh, punishment for officers that do not follow body camera policies. We already have that in place. Training on de-escalation of force would be required. More reporting of use of force to the FBI. When a law enforcement candidate is interviewed, the department looking to hire will have access to prior disciplinary records. Well, I think that's very important, and I think one of the problems that we have in law enforcement, and probably in a lot of fields at this time, is um, agencies are willing to allow people to resign in lieu of termination, so therefore there's less put in a file had they actually been terminated. Um, I think that that's a problem in law enforcement. The ACLU of South Carolina believes law enforcement should be less involved in handling drug, mental illness, and homeless issues. They want Congress to redirect money for more programs to help with those problems. Now the solutions that we've seen really coming out of both parties um, really fail to get at the core problem, which is that we just have too many police doing too many different things and we really need to scale that back. Of course, this is just a proposal at this point. Both the House and Senate would have to pass a bill and the President would have to sign it in order for it to be law. In Goose Creek, I'm Raymond Owens. Count on two.